So this is the transmission. It was just sitting on the floor over there. Oh yeah, and this is the car. I had it outside while I was working on the motor, but motor's over there, that's ready to go in. I just gotta throw the flywheel back on that, and then the clutch, and then a uh, new pressure plate because of the old one being all wobbly. Um, the spec pressure plate I had in there, if you noticed, I was grinding gears all the time. <laughs> And this is a spec 900 pressure plate, which is actually made for the cable clutch that I use. But this is, thing is terrible. You have to bottom the clutch all the way out just to get to get disengaged. I played with the cable a bunch and everything. Yeah, see, I, I do run a clutch cable. Uh, had to bottom that thing out just to get it to disengage, which is why I kept on grinding third gear. Um, so yeah, we're going back to the Vigan pressure plate. I like the way that thing feels. It's nice and light. Anyway, uh, I have the transmission here uh, together. And I'm just going to speed run, take it apart, and then throw the new diff in. The F35 diff, because we got an F25 in there. And then put it back together, put everything together, motor trans, put it in the car with inner CVs only, no axles, and then just run it. So we split this case wide open. Uh, no surprises except I saw a bit of gold dust, a little bit of synchro uh, ground up everywhere and I'm not really surprised because of how bad it was grinding going into third every time. Uh, and then upon further inspection the third gear synchro is just absolutely begging for help. Like look at that, you can see that's the third gear synchro and then fourth gear, see how full those teeth are? And see how the teeth have chunks taken out of them. Look how close the uh, synchro ring is actually to the engagement teeth there. So worn down. And before you say anything, I, again, I've been running. I've been running this uh, input shaft in first through fourth gear since this car was built. Uh, back in when was that? 2017 was the first time I drove it, or started dynoing it and stuff. So this is the same gear set for that entire period until now. So that's five years in this gear set of just pure abuse and then taking it apart constantly and messing with stuff and completely blowing it up and then welding the case. And I forgot to mention, I'm not just stuffing a new diff in here and whatever, I'm uh, changing this case out. So basically putting this these guts into another case and then I have another input shaft as well with another gear set that I'm gonna put into that. And then if time allows for it and money allows for it, I'm just going to build a second gearbox with this case uh, using another F35 diff. So I basically have two F35s, cable, clutch, rod shifted, um, so I can blow up a gearbox in the middle of the year and not have to rebuild it, just swap it out and then deal with it later. Because that's, the, that's basically the plan for now, because there's not really a gear set out there that helps me too much. The Quaif synchro gear kit is pretty good it has really good ratios but it's a synchro gear kit um, to be racing an unlimited class time attack you need a sequential or a dog box or something with dog engagement so you can just rip through the gears um, so they don't make any of those for these gearboxes um, i might be doing something with that but that's not something i want to talk about yet so we're just building a stock gearbox basically again oh yeah look at that that's a really worn synchro. I mean, it really owes me nothing. It's not meant for these revs. And then when you have a clutch that's dragging and stuff, that's going to happen. And you're just, you're just forcing it into gear racing. Um, yeah, that sucks. Second gear looks pretty good. You can see the grooves. That's, that's the, that's the large ring. And then this is the intermediate ring. I don't even know what you call these things. I'm just making up my names right now. And this is the first ring. You can see the first ring, eh, it's not too bad. It's not really depleted. So yeah, anyway, this is just from like jamming it into gear. Um, Synchro is doing its job. It is working. I'm not using this gear set again, so don't worry about that being dirty. Um, but yeah, this one, seeing how worn it is, that's just, you know, that's just time and the clutch and everything. And then, yeah, so. 
there is a little bit more damage and this is less interesting but this is this is reverse actually so reverse on these cars has a synchro and everything and it reverse gear just spins on that shaft uh, that's what these teeth are for and then you know spins or no first gear spins the bottom gear which um, is coupled to this with a synchro which spins the input shaft backwards and you know there spins the output shaft backwards and you know either way it's reverse this is reverse and this is uh, always spinning when the motor is spinning you can see how damaged the bushing is inside of there anyone who's watching knows what happened with this transmission in the past and there's like a big piece of gear tooth broken gear tooth lodged in there so it basically just sat in there and just ate away at the bushing which is kind of upsetting to know about because I like assembling stuff nice and clean and everything but you know when you're racing and you got an event to be at and you just need to put it back together no matter what state it's in to just turn a lap because it's time attack only one lap counts you just kind of clean it as fast as you can and get it together and go because there's a race to be raced right so anyway that's just minor damage there uh, i'm not expecting to see any more damage this case is already brutalized like with the ring gear that exploded in here basically or the teeth that got shredded right off of it and then the welds that are on it so this this whole transmission has been terrorized input shaft taken apart so you can see how low this synchro sits this is third gear and you can see how flattened these grooves are it's hard to see really how bad it is on camera there there's always going to be grooves but they should be a lot deeper anyway that's the worn synchro and then here's a really good condition one that I pulled out of a V6. The one that I got the 445 from that was in this transmission. So being a V6 non-turbo, like, you know, they don't really get beat on that much. But either way, this is in really good shape. And then toss that on. And you can already see visibly how much higher that sits on third gear. So that's just a little analysis of that. I have a weird thing here, too. Hopefully, if someone can comment... Uh, what this is this is a synchro I just found in my like bin of magical transmission spares I don't know where this came from it's a centered bronze synchro and it is a 3-4 synchro because it fits and it's like hmm I didn't even know they made centered bronze synchros for these cars it's pretty interesting that's how it looks compared to the rest I'm not going to use this, I'm just wondering what it's from. If anyone knows, comment, please. Teeth on the on third gear is sort of rounded. I have a problem because I actually don't have... Come on, focus, man. I don't actually have another third gear uh, in this ratio. I have a bunch of spare input shafts with different third gears, but they're all from 900s. So... Yeah, I only have uh, the tall third, and that's way too tall for me, because this already tops out at, what, 205 uh, GPS speed. I'm going to have to reuse this gear, uh, no matter what, for this transmission. Um, and then here is the slider, and that's actually the fourth gear engagement side. And then look at the third gear engagement side, see how rounded that is. So either way, yeah, this is stuff that's been gone over a million times in the past by other people who've damaged synchro gearboxes. So I have a spare, I have a bunch of spares of these, so I'm going to throw one on to here and then put the good side on third because the two, three shift is the one that's really, that really matters. And then I'll put this input shaft back together. I'll put this input shaft, and then I will put this in shaft, in shaft. And then I'll put this input shaft back together as soon as I get another bearing for it because my puller ruins the bearing that comes off. So new bearing, different synchro, not a new one, but a good synchro. And then good synchro for fourth too because I have another one. And then this can go back together.